Hello and welcome back to another day in my life as a consultant working in Dubai. If you're new here, firstly, you should subscribe to the channel. Secondly, let me tell you, I'm not a morning person. So here I am wondering if the money is even worth it. But then I decide I do want to buy that Bentley. So let's go. We start off the day with some vitamin D from the sun and then some other vitamins in this beautifully pink smoothie I ordered for myself because I don't cook. Then starts the daily struggle of trying to find an outfit that is semi-formal looking but also comfortable. Success. I am way too lazy to do a full makeup on work days, so I just have some mascara on to make myself look less sleepy. All the glowiness you see is the excess sunscreen because, you know, Dubai. I am no longer a well-oiled machine, so I actually make my bag on the day. The 16-year-old Sheen would be catastrophized. Finally, at 9am, we are out the door. I get it at 9.20 and get hyped for the cool spot Esteban found us and he is already very deeply focused in work. First order of business to the kitchen to make a cup of tea. Then I get settled in and do my email roundups and check out what I have to do today. What are the priorities and what calls do I have that might need some prep? I am a strategy consultant, which means that we work in small teams to solve business problems for all sorts of clients. It can be to help them launch a new product, a project or a service, to identify where they're having issues in the business, to acquire another business, investment opportunities, etc. And the clients can be governments, businesses, and they can be in any fields, whether it is telecommunication, healthcare, uh, private sector, it can be basically anything. In the past year, I've mostly worked on new projects and opportunities, which is quite cool, as it involves a lot of research and benchmarking to create initiatives and business plans for the client from scratch. Finally, it is lunchtime and Esteban has very kindly ordered food for us already. Kindness never comes for free, of course. Now he wants me to work with him on something. So now we're in this fancy cubicle on show to everyone, protected by these very transparent green curtains. Then I decide to take a little tea break. I feel bad for my choices because, you know, chocolate digestives. So then I have an orange. Balance. Back to work, building some slides for a meeting we'll be having with the client this week to go over some of the deliverables now that we're coming to the end of the project. So we have very regular checkups with the client to make sure that everybody is aligned on all the expectations are being met. At around 8.30, I head out for dinner with my friend Wahida. We go to our favorite spot, a Yemeni restaurant, and I eat my heart out, as you can see. Please ignore my eating habits. I was really hungry, okay? We then head to hers because she lives very close to the restaurant to do some more work because <laughs> you thought I was done for the day. Don't be silly. I eventually head home and carry on working until around 10.30 p.m. At this point, I remember I have some life admin to do. Firstly, I put the rose Wahida kindly gave me, I did not steal it, okay, I promise, into some water. Then I opened my Amazon package and believe it or not, I finally bought my first ever selfie stick for my upcoming travels. It was my sister's idea. Then I prep some return parcel for ASOS and I wrap up the day. Thank you for being here with me. I hope to see you soon. Bye.